I think I would say you can start the history of the Middle East, at least the contemporary Middle East, by which most historians would mean the 19th and 20th century, as a story of oil. And I would start it at a particular date, 1901, when the first oil concession was signed in what was then called Persia. This is when the Middle East, Iran in particular, but that whole region, which is very oil rich, became of strategic importance to the West. And it's from that moment on that um, the Middle East has been inextricably linked to strategic foreign policy interests of Britain, France, Russia, and then later America. One of the issues that comes up with this concession agreement is the ways in which it was signed and the, and the imbalance of power that it, that it sort of formalizes in a written document. The first concession agreement which was signed in 1901 uh, forced all of um, Persia to be opened up to exploration and production of oil from 1901 till basically for another 100 years. And all the Persian government got out of it was some money with no ownership of those resources, no right to determine how those resources were going to be spent. Now that story changes after the 1950s, but it's important because it sets into stone the tenor of the relationship between the West and the Middle East, as it were, in a very simple document, which says we have the right to do this, and you don't have any right to say anything about it.